Hello everyone. Welcome you all for the third day of our online bridge course on mathematical analysis, abstract algebra and linear algebra organized by the Department of Mathematics Faru College. Mathematics is not about numbers, equations, computations or algorithms. It's about understanding. Today I am very excited to introduce the resource person of the day a young and vibrant personality Mr Muhammad Nishat Mani Parambat to handle the session on abstract algebra He is the assistant professor of our department of mathematics from 2013 onwards He is an academic advisor of many educational institutions and an eminent resource person of massive open online courses conducted by EMMRC of University of Calicut He has delivered introductory talks to UG students of various colleges also he is an active member of the IQAC in the internal quality assurance cell of Faru college and a member of board of studies of Faru college with great pleasure i invite mr mohammad nishad mani parambat to start the presentation over to you sir uh, dear friends It's me Mohammad Ishad assistant professor of Faru college I am discussing with you a very basics of the abstract algebra this is a bridge course to abstract algebra in this session we are discussing a very basic things of your, that you studied you in early classes it is a uh, very useful to start abstract algebra mainly i am discussing here a binary operation Uh, in the uh, very school from very school days on bars uh, we come across the fundamental binary operations or operations that is what is uh, you discussed there is the abstract addition subtraction multiplication and division the main features of this operation is that uh, given any two numbers a and b we associate another number a plus b for addition of a and b we yes, assume number a plus b <coughs> or <coughs> for subtraction we associate with the number a minus b for multiplication we associate with number a b and for the division we associate with the number a by b but the denominator should not be equal to 0 <coughs> then only it will be defined it is not to be noted that only two numbers can be added or multiplied at a time when we need to add three numbers what we will do we will first add two numbers and the result is added to with the third number so we add the two numbers first the result is added to with added with the third number those are addition multiplication and sub subtraction are examples of binary operations and i just left one operation division it is also a binary operation but it is not binary operation on r we will restrict a, its a set instead of r into r star that we will discuss you and if you want to have general definition which can cover all this operation then the set of numbers is to be replaced by arbitrary set x and then general binary operation is nothing but association of any pair of elements a b from x to another element of x that is the meaning of the binary operation association of any pair of elements by operating with that binary operation we will get a new element that element should be belongs to the original set x uh, this gives a general definition as follows see a binary operation star we denote it with the symbol star on a set a is a function star from a cross a to a because domain is a cross a uh, the element of domain is pair ab or a pair ab so star is a function from a cross a to a that means star of ab we will get a new element a star b that should be another element belongs to a then we can say that star is a binary operation 
As an example, I would like to discuss you. Uh, um, our question is that is addition, subtraction, multiplication of the binary operations on R. Think about this set R. And as I said you earlier, we just left one operation that is division. So what about division? Is it not a binary operation on R? Further, if it is if it is not a binary operation on R, is division is a binary operation on the set R star? That is our question. Where R star means the set of all real number excluding zero. That means set of non-zero real numbers. So <coughs> it is uh, from the question itself it is very clear. Uh, addition. We can move to addition plus from R cross R to R is given by plus of A B to a new number A plus B. Where R is a set of real numbers, A is a real number, B is a real number. We know that sum of two real number is again a real number. That is why A plus B is again an element of R. That is why we can say that plus is a addition is a binary operation on R. Think about minus. From R cross R, uh, R to R, where A and B are two elements of R, then minus of AB gives A minus B. That means subtraction of two real numbers. While subtracting two real numbers, it is very clear that we will have a new real number. That is why we can say that negative minus is also a binary operation. Similarly, multiplication from R cross R to R is given by a multiplication of a b that means multiplication of two real numbers it is simply we can say that it is also a real real number that is why we can say that it is very clear that a multiplication is also a binary operation on the set r binary operation on the set r but division Think about division, R is a real set of real numbers. Among this set of real numbers, uh, while considering uh, the pair AB, where A and B are real numbers, we will have result A by B. But thing is that, it is not a function and hence it is not a binary operation. Why? Because it is not a function, there is an undefined stage is there. Or I, uh, if b is equal to 0, if the denominator is equal to 0, a by b is not defined. That means, as because r is the set of real number, there should be an element 0 is there. If b receives 0, what will happen? The uh, a by b is not defined. Therefore, it can be, uh, it cannot be defined. That is why we can say that a division is not a binary operation on R. However, uh, 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 the problem is that if the denominator is 0, then function is undefined. If the denominator is non-zero, there is no problem at all. That is why we are eliminating 0 from the set R. So we have R star is there. How so we can say that the R star set of all non-zero real numbers. If division is defined from R star to R star, R, cro, R star cross R star to R, then we can say that that may be a binary operation. So that we can say that division from R star cross R star to R star is defi give, uh, defined by uh, division of AB is equal to A by B is a function and it is defined it is an element of R star. That is why we can say that that is a binary operation on R star. Is subtraction is a uh, and division is binary operation on A. That is our next uh, thought. Uh, what will happen? 
if subtraction minus from n cross n to n is given by a, a minus of a b is equal to a minus b. Simply we can say that it is not a binary operation. Think about if a, b is the highest number than a, that means we have taken two base 3 for a and 5 for b, the 5 is higher than 3. So under minus the value is 3 minus 5 the value is minus 2. It is not a natural number that is does not belong to n. That means while operating the two numbers 3 and 5 with the subtraction there should be a value minus 2 that does not belong to natural number set. That is why it is, we can say that minus is not a binary operation on n. Similarly, division from n cross n to n is given by division of a b can be defined as a divided by b is not a binary operation. I consider the values 3 and 5 is there. So, 3 divided by 5 which is not a natural number. That is why we can say that it is also impossible. So, we can say that subtraction and division are not binary operation on the set of natural numbers. We can move to another example. The example sh says that show that star from r cross r to r, the real number set r, is given by star of a b as a plus 4 b square is a binary operation. The thing is that star a, a defined as a star b equal to a plus 4 b square where a b are real numbers. That is why uh, think about it if, while operating after the operation if we got a real number we can say that this is a binary operation. So think about b square. Since b is a real number, square of a real number is again a real number. That is why b square is a real number. While multiplying a real number with 4, it is also a real number. That is why 4b square is also a real number. Since a is a real number, 4b square is a real number. Sum of two real numbers is a real number. That is why we can say that a plus 4b square is a real number. So, uh, by the definition, a star b equal to a plus 4b square is also a real number. That is why we can say that this is a binary operation. That means since star carries each pair to unique element a plus 4b square in R and a plus 4b square is a real number, that is why we can say that there is a binary operation. We can move to another uh, example. Consider the set P. The set of all subsets of a given set X. P contains all the possible subsets of X. The, uh, our question is that we have to show that union is defined as P cross P to P is given by union of A B as A union B where A and B are uh, elements of P. Since P contains all the possible subset of X we can say that A and B are subsets of X. Since A and B are A, any of the two subsets of X we can say that whose union A union B is again a subset of X. Similarly, think about intersection. Intersection of uh, from P cross P to P is given by A intersection of B A and B is defined by A intersection B. A and B are as I said you earlier, A and B are two subsets of X. Definitely intersection of two subsets of a set is again a subset of that original parent set. That is why A intersection B also 
a subset of x. So our claim is that these two are binary operation. From our explanation itself, it is very clear that they are binary operation because that we discussed here. So uh, we can move to another example. We define a new operation join from R cross R to R is given by AB is equal to maximum of AB. That means that means join of AB equal to maximum of AB. And meet is defined as from R cross R to R is given by meet of AB equal to minimum of AB. They are the binary operations. Think about join. Join is defined as uh, uh, it is defined on the set of real numbers. That is why we can say that join of two numbers is the maximum of two numbers. If both A and B are real numbers, the maximum of two real number is again a real number. So definitely it is belongs to R. Similarly, a uh, meet of uh, A and B, meet of two real numbers is defined as minimum of A and B. That is minimum of two real numbers A and B. Definitely that is also a real number. That is why we can say that the join carries each pair A, B in R cross R to a unique element, namely the maximum of A and B that should be belongs to R lying in R. So that we can say that join is a binary operation. Using the similar argument, uh, we can say that meet is a binary operation because meet carries each pair AB in R cross R to a unique element that is minimum of A and B that should be belongs to that should be belongs to R. So that we can say that both join and meet are the binary operation as defined here. It just uh, uh, remind you a remark join of 4 7 is the maximum of 4 and 7 simply it is equal to 7. Join of 4 and minus 7 it is the maximum of 4 and minus 7 that is equal to 4. Meet of 4 and 7 that simply we can say that equal to 4. Meet of 4 and minus 7 equal to minus 7. When the number of elements of a set is small, we can express a binary operation star on the set A with <coughs> through a table called the operation table of operation star. Now, for example, we consider a set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, then the operation join on A is defined in a bow. Example can be expressed by the following operation table. See, we have set contain only three elements 1, 2, and 3. Join of 1 and 3 is the maximum of 1 and 3 is 3. Join of 2 and 3 is the maximum of 2 and 3 is 3. Join of 1 and 2 is maximum of 1 and 3 is 2. That is why when the operation table will come like this join of 1 and 1 is 1 1 and 2 is 2 1 and 3 is 3 join 2 and 1 is 2 2 and 2 is 2 2 join 3 is equal to 3 3 join 1 is equal to 3 3 join 2 is equal to 3 3 join 3 is equal to 3 the operation table will come like this in case of the finite sets we are able to generate or develop the operation table. From this we can understand the groups and the operation table where we are discussing binary operation for discussing for studying the group theory. In case of the group theory it is very easy to understand based on the operation table and the operation from the operation table we can understand whether the group is abelian or whether the group is cyclic or something. We can identify from here.
here you know, we are having three rows and three columns in the operation table with ij entries of the table maximum of ith and jth elements on the set a this can be generalized for general operation star from a cross a to a if a is equal to a1 a2 etc an a is a set with the n elements a1 a2 etc an then the operation table will have will will be having n rows and n columns with ijth entry is being ijth entry is being ai cro ai star aj see this is the ijth entry Conversely, given any operation table having n rows and n columns, with each entry being an element a is equal to a1, a2, etc., a n, we can define a binary operation star from a cross a to a is given by a i star a j is the entry in the ith row and jth column. in the operation table in operate a i star a j is the i th row and j th column the entry of the operation table one may note that 3 and 4 can be added in any order and the result is same that is 3 plus 4 equal to 4 plus 3 it is very simple thing but subtraction of 3 and 4 is different Order give different results. That means three minus four is equal to minus one, but four minus three is equal to one. They are not equal. Three minus one not equal to four minus three. Similarly, in case of multiplication, three and four have no problem. The order is immaterial. Three into four is equal to twelve, and four into three is equal to twelve. But in case of division. Three and four, <coughs> in different order, give the different results. That is three by four not equal to four by three. Thus, think about addition and multiplication. The order is immaterial. But in case of uh, subtraction and uh, division. if uh, if the order is changes uh, they are not equal that means 3 minus 4 not equal to 4 minus 3 similarly 3 by 4 not equal to 4 by 3 so the addition and multiplication of 3 and 4 are meaningful but subtraction and division of 3 and 4 are meaningless for some extent in case for this is for the next definition while discussing the next definition you will be understand what we mean the meaning of meaningless for subtraction and division we write subtract 3 from 4 subtract 4 from 3 they are different divide 3 by 4 and divide 4 by 3 they are different so from this small discussion it leads us to a new definition the definition is called commutativity of the binary operation that means a binary operation star on a set x is called commutative if a star b is equal to b star a this is what is called the commutative property for a very a comma b block states just think about show that addition it's a very simple and we already discussed here plus from r cross r to r and from multiplication from r cross to r a commutative binary operation that we already discussed here addition of two real numbers for a plus b equal to b plus a a b equal to b a but in case of subtraction and division from r R star cross R star to R star. Here R star is there. This one mistake is here. You may identify here. Here also R star is there. 
even if r is uh, numerator is r for the numerator if r is okay no problem if r cross r, r star also okay no problem but here r star 0 is here that is not available that is why r star cross r star to r star is fair these two operations are not commuted here a plus b is equal to b plus a a b into a into b is equal to b and a for every a b belongs to r already discussed plus and multiplication are commuted to binary operation however minus is not commuted to since 3 minus 4 not equal to 4 minus 3 3 by 4 not equal to 4 by 3 that is why minus and division are not commutative operation so uh, we are defining a new operation we have to show that that is not commutative the operation start from r cross r to r that is a operation defined on r as defined as a star b is equal to a plus 2b simply we can say that that is a binary operation because a and b are real numbers since b is a real number 2b is a real number a and 2b are real number sum of two real number is a k in a real number that is why we can say that this is a binary operation think about uh, but with an example 3 in 4 3 star 4 by the definition uh, instead of b here we have 4 2b is there 2 into 4 8 is there so a plus 2b a plus 2 into 4 a plus 8 3 plus 8 is equal to 11 what about 4 into 3 for in instead of b now we have 3 is here 2 into 3 6 4 is here 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 so 3 star 4 is equal to 11 and 4 star 3 is equal to 10. They are not equal. Showing that this is not commutative. If we want to associate 3 elements of the set X, the arbitrary set X, through binary operation, we encounter a natural problem. The expression A star B star C may be interpreted as A star B star C or A star B star C and these two expressions need not be same. If they are same, we say that it is associative. For example, they need not be same. For example, 8 minus 5 minus 2 8 minus 5 is equal to 3 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 but 8 minus or 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 but 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 so that means here 1 and here it is equal to 5 simply we can say that 1 not equal to 5 that is why 8 minus 5 minus 2 not equal to 8 minus 5 minus 2 so that we can say that this expression need not be same therefore the association of three numbers 8 5 and 3 through the binary operation subtraction is meaningless unless the bracket is used see but in the case of addition 8 plus 5 plus 2 has the same value whether we look at it as 8 plus 5 plus 2 or as 8 plus 5 plus 2. 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 plus 2 equal to 15. 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15. On the both cases they are same. This is the association of 3 or even more than three numbers through addition is meaningful without using brackets definition these things leads to a new definition that is associativity of binary operation that is a binary operation star from a cross a to a is 
said to be associative if a star b star c is equal to a star b star c for every a b c belongs to a. We move to another example show that addition and multiplication as associative binary operation on our set of real numbers but subtraction is not associative division is not associative on our star the subtraction is not associative that we proved just before the addition and multiplication are associative since addition of three numbers a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. It is very clear. We don't want to prove more. Similarly, the multiplication of three numbers. If we multiply two number and we multiply the third number c with the answer of a a into b is same as a into b into c. So that we can say that addition and multiplication are associative. It is very clear and understood that we can prove simply. However, the subtraction and division are not associative that we just discussed before. 8 minus 5 minus 3. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. 0 that is not equal to 6. It is understood. This is 8 by 5 by 3 is not equal to 5 by 3 8 by 5 by 3 now both are different so that we can say that they are not associative we can move to another example the question says to us to show that the uh, star is a binary operation defined on the set of real numbers a star b as a plus 2. We have to show that that is not associative. The operation star is not associative. Why? Because we are taking a, an example itself. 8 star 5 star 3 equal to firstly a, we will uh, solve a star 5 a plus 2b instead of 5 is there instead of a 8 is there 2b means 2 into 5, 10. That means 8 plus 10. Star 3. That means 8 plus 10. Now, instead of B here, we have 3 is there. That is what 2B. 2 into 3, 6 is there. And 8 plus 10 is the first value instead of A. So, 8 plus 10 plus 6. That is 18 plus 6, 24. While uh, 8 star 5 star 3 we can give the priority for the bracket 5 star 3 the b part b, the value for b is 3 that is why 2 into b that means 2 into 3 6 5 plus 6 now instead of b here we have 5 plus 6 instead of here we have 8 is there 5 plus 6 is 11 that means 8 star 11 is equal to so 2b, 2 into 11, 22, 8 plus 22 is equal to 13. Both are not equal. That is why we can say that that is not associative. So we come to a remark the associative property, associative property of binary operation is very important in the sense that with this property of binary operation, we can write a1 star, A2 star, etc., An, which is not ambiguous. But it is a, in absence of this property, the expression A1 star, A2 star, etc., star An is ambiguous unless the brackets are used. Recall that the earlier classes, the bracket were used whenever the subtraction or division the subtraction or division the subtraction or division operation or more than one operation is occurred that is the subtraction or division operation or more than one operation occurred
for the binary operation addition on R. The interesting feature of the number 0 is a plus 0 equal to a equal to 0 plus a. That is the number remains unaltered by adding 0. While adding 0 with a, there is no change for a. But in the case of multiplication, the number 1 plays this role. Which, uh, what the role uh, led by 0 in case of addition, that will be done by 1 in case of multiplication. So that means a into 1 is equal to a is equal to 1 into a. This is true for every a belongs to R. This leads to a new definition. The definition is binary operation star. We defined on the set A that is star defined from A cross A to A. An element E belongs to A if it exists. Is called identity element of the operation star. If we operate any element with E, there is no change for that element. That means A star E is equal to A, which is equal to E star E. Then we can say that is the identity element. As, uh, very simply, we can say that 0 is the identity element on R for the addition and 1 is the identity element for the multiplication. But there is no identity element for the operation minus from R cross R to R and division from R star cross R star to R star. Simply we can say that addition a plus 0 equal to 0 plus a equal to a. For any real numbers, for all real numbers, a into 1 is equal to a equal to 1 into a. Therefore, we can say that for the set of real numbers, the multiplicative identity is 1 and the additive identity is 0. Are the identity elements for the operation. 0 and 1 are the identity elements for the operation plus and multiplication respectively. Further, there is no element E in R with A minus E equal to E minus A is equal to A. Similarly, we cannot find any of the element E in R star such that A by E is equal to E by A. For every A belongs to R star. Hence, minus and subtraction and division do not have identity elements. So, we are discussing in this remark, 0 is the identity for addition, uh, operation addition on R and but it is not identity for addition operation on N as since 0 does not belong to N. In fact, the addition operation on R <coughs> does not have any identity on further notices that for the addition operation plus plus from R cross R to R, that means plus on R is given by any A belongs to R. There exists a minus A in R. There exists a real number minus A in R such that A plus minus A equal to zero. Zero is the identity for addition, which is equal to minus A plus A. Similarly, the multiplication operation on R, given any non-zero real number A, we can choose 1 by A belongs to R. There exists a real number 1 by A such that A into 1 by A is equal to 1. 1 is the identity for multiplication and 1 by A into A. This leads to following definition. The definition is very important definition for stepping to group theory. A binary operation star from A cross A to A with the identity element E in A. An element A belongs to A is said to be invertible with respect to the operation star. If there exists an another element B in A such that A star B equal to E equal to B star A. And B is called inverse of A and it is denoted by A inverse. That means an element is invertible. There exists an another element B such that 
a star b equal to e equal to b star a then b is called inverse of a and a is called inverse of b it is denoted as b is denoted as a inverse we move to the example show that minus a is the inverse of a for addition operation plus on r and 1 by a is the inverse of a not equal to 0 for the multiplication operation <coughs> product on r a solution as a plus minus a equal to a minus a equal to 0 and minus a plus a equal to 0 and minus a is the inverse for addition and <coughs> similarly for a not equal to 0 a into 1 by a is equal to 1 equal to 1 by a in big a implies that 1 by a is the inverse of a for multiplication this example is nothing that we discussed just before. So now show that minus a is not the inverse of a belongs to n. So here set is restricted to natural numbers. For addition plus on n and 1 by a is not inverse of a belongs to n for multiplication <coughs> operation on n. For n not equal to 1. See a, in A, the only positive numbers are there. There exists a negative A is there. The negative numbers may be there. So, but in case of a natural number set, there is no negative number is available. Similarly, for A not equal to 0, 1 by N should be a rational number. That is not available in N. Therefore, we can say that minus a uh, doesn't belong to n therefore minus n cannot be an inverse for addition on n although minus a satisfies a plus minus a equal to 0 and minus a plus a equal to 0 but minus a doesn't belong to n similarly for a not equal to 1 in n 1 by a doesn't belong to n which implies that other than one no element of n has inverse for multiplication operation on n. Okay. Now we just move to the group theory. In gro uh, groups, uh, we say that we are taking G star. G is any set. Star is alt uh, binary operation. A set with binary operation is called algebraic structure. So. G star is a, a closed under binary operation star such that the following axiom is satisfied. That is a group G star is a set G closed under the binary operation star such that the following axioms are satisfied. The all axioms that we discussed earlier, the first one is associativity. The binary operation is associative, that is A star B star C equal to A star B star C for every A comma B comma C belongs to G. And the second property is existence of the identity. That means there is an element E belongs to G such that E star A equal to A star A equal to A for every A belongs to G. But E is the identity element for star on G. This is also we discussed existence of the inverse elements for each for each a belongs to g there is an element a inverse in g such that a inverse star a equal to a star a inverse equal to e a inverse is called inverse of a with respect to operation star if it satisfies if it satisfies all these axioms we can say that uh, binary structure algebraic structure is there with associativity law with identity existence of identity element existence of inverse is there then such structures are called groups see we already discussed the commutative binary operation so uh, we uh, define a group 
a group g star is said to be abelian or commutative if the commutative law axiom is old that is a star b equal to b star a for a very a comma b belongs to g now just i am giving as an exercise for uh, the students i uh, am just listing the groups you may check whether is uh, this mentioned sets are groups with given algebraic <coughs> of a given binary operation okay the set z and radition is not a group sorry the z the set z plus this is this have a mistake the set z plus and radition is not a group because there is no identity for addition in z plus zero is just not belongs to z plus z plus is set of natural numbers set of positive integers the next one is the set of all non negative integers including zero and addition is still not a group because zero union n is the non negative integers there is an identity element but under addition there is no inverse for 2 or for 3 none of the elements have inverse available in that set the familiar additive pos uh, additive positive integers uh, properties sorry the familiar additive properties of the integers of rational real complex numbers shows that z q r and c under addition are abelian groups in uh, the set z plus under multiplication is not a group since there is an identity element in 1 but no inverse of 3 the familiar multiplicative properties of rationals real and complex numbers shows that the sets q plus r plus of positive numbers and the sets q star r star and c star of non zero numbers under multiplication are abelian groups see just i uh, give you these examples as an exercise for you you may just check whether because we have uh, the binary operation is there and you may check whether they are associative have their exist identity have their exist inverse is the group is abelian the all things just mentioned here you may try by yourself also this is a very simple and basic examples that uh, discussed here uh, some properties of group that we will discuss uh, as by uh, first part of the group theory the cancellation laws and we will show that the identity element is unique and uh, we will show inverse of each element is unique and we show that for every a comma b belongs to g each equation uh, ax equal to b and y equal to b has a unique solution and similarly we will prove the reversal row or uh, shoe shocks property shoe shocks property says that for every a b belongs to g a b inverse equal to b inverse a inverse and there are some uh, other properties also that it is very familiar we don't want to be uh, done much efforts on it uh, for every a belongs to g and m belongs to g plus a raised to m equal to a into a into etc a m times and a raised to minus m is equal to a inverse all raised to m equal to a inverse a inverse etc m times a raised to m into a raised to n equal to a raised to m plus n for every a belongs to g m and belongs to z and a raised to m whole raised to n equal to a raised to m into uh, m and for every a belongs to g and m and belongs to z if a raised to m is equal to e uh, equal to a raised to n implies a raised to d equal to e for d equal to gcd of m and n and similarly at last uh, i would like to uh say you a raised to m into a raised to n equal to a raised to n into a raised to m equal to a raised to m plus n for every a belongs to g see this all properties we may discuss earlier in many case of the integers or numbers or real numbers 
here we are discussing this is based on the uh, group theory uh, g as a group in group theory here g we treat g as a group this all are very basic things uh, these are the starting parts of the group theory that we will discuss here onwards okay for the reference of your further studies i would like i propose you some books john b frale a first course in abstract algebra the seventh edition and i n hinstein's topics in algebra second edition you can choose any of the edition no problem that i just i mentioned here the edition as uh, uh, the books that i report and joseph galian's contemporary, contemporary abstract algebra eighth edition these three books are very nice books that students can uh, go through it you can understand uh, much in deep level what is group theory wow and about abstract algebra then you can move to ring theory as well as field theory an abstract algebra is a very nice and interesting subject which have much more application in molecular biology and some of the parts of the uh, in uh, some of the part branches in current scenario it have much relevance in interdisciplinary research also okay thank you thank you very much thank you all a very pleasant good afternoon to all kindness is the language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see i thank the almighty god who is the great mathematician of the universe with his countless blessings we are able to complete our online bridge course on mathematical analysis abstract algebra and linear algebra organized by the department of mathematics for a college gratitude is the powerful catalyst for happiness yes with grateful heart i thank our principal dr k m nasir for his encouraging presence and support gratitude is the sign of noble souls I place on record our indebtedness to all resource persons Dr Vinod Kumar P assistant professor TMG College Tirur Dr K Sudhir retired associate professor De Farooq College and Mr Muhammad Nishad Mani Parambar assistant professor Farooq College for delivering their lectures in most simple and interesting way Nothing is more honorable than a grateful heart. I thank the backbone and head of the department Professor Muhammad Salim whose unceasing support helped us to accomplish the target. The root of joy is gratitude. I thank the convener of the program Dr Shafiq T who worked night and day to finish this program in an eminent degree. I thank all the faculties and students of the Department of Mathematics for the backup support. I on behalf of the organizing committee thank all the staffs of Informatics Center Faru College and other non-teaching staffs for their technical support throughout the course. I would also like to extend my sincere gratitude to Mrs. Seema P Abdullah for her minute to minute support. Finally with grateful heart i thank all the participants who have joined here from different destinations for their enthusiastic cooperation and support throughout i conclude with the saying we can't do great things on this earth only small things with great love thank you thank you all